conversation today is with Caetano de Campos Lopez, the director of climate policy over at the Community Climate Collaborative. Uh, recently put out a solar climate justice scorecard. So let's run down what's that gonna, what, how's that gonna help us? What's that gonna do for us? Great. So uh, this uh, tool that we put together in January this year, it's a pioneer tool that aims to standardize the comparison, uh, sorry, standardize the assessment of solar projects from a climate justice perspective. Uh, in recent years, uh, the number of solar projects in Virginia increased a lot, and now we have a way to compare them, um, well, in a standardized manner. Nice, and you guys are hosting a webinar this week, which maybe will help people kind of get to know what this scorecard is like. Yes, on the scorecard, uh, the webinar is going to be uh, exploring how to use it to what it uh, should be used for and what it shouldn't be used for. Uh, the two aims to shed light um, and a number of topics that per, uh, were not fully laid on the table when assessing solar projects. And uh, it aims to complement and provide some extra direction to the existing studies that um, are being made when assessing solar projects, but um, not, to, not to substitute them. We still have to, to make all these other studies as well. And that webinar is next Wednesday yes. on Zoom. Um, who do you think could benefit from maybe taking part in this? Well, a number of pe uh, people actually, uh, advocates uh, to, to, to begin with, everybody that is interested in adv advancing solar uh, energy in our state and United States should be a part of this conversation. Also, uh, government decision makers, I think they should have an interesting understanding, different perspectives that perhaps have not, as I mentioned before, been fully laid on the table uh, so far. And also developers, uh, whoever is interested in advancing solar energy in Virginia, are, it's going to be interesting in understanding how they can do that in a better way, now that they have a path or a guide to follow. Good info for the region's movers and shakers. Yes. <laughs> All right, so next Wednesday at noon on Zoom, people need to get registered for this ahead of time? Yes, uh, they can go to our website, the, the climatecollaborative.org to, to register, or uh, yes, or they can register last time, that's, that's okay as well. And have you done things like this before? Webinars? Kind of on webinars or with uh, this topic? A number of them. About this topic, not yet. Uh, okay. It's gonna be the first webinar that we're going to be conducting, uh, touching solar energy, but yes. Nice. Um, solar energy is becoming more and more popular and, and relatively speaking, more and more cost effective as True. things develop on. Um, that's got to help the climate, obviously, and make, maybe allow more of us to get involved. For sure. Uh, and if you may, uh, my final comment, I would like to say that this week, uh, uh, Monday this week, the Intergovernmental inter Panel on Climate Change just released their last uh, assessment report, the six in, in, in 32 years, so it's pretty big, and it just makes us realize that we need to act faster and faster when it comes to climate solutions, and we hope that with these two, um, decision makers are going to be more confident that they're in the right direction when it comes to energy decisions, and perhaps uh, we're going to be able to streamline good solar projects in, in Virginia and the United States as a whole. Okay, Tano, good stuff as always. Thank you, have a great Thanks weekend. So Thank you so much. Tried?